Um, we are joined with Carlos Mendoza and the Sense Labs team. So uh, we're going to be drawing today. Uh, we have a pretty cool idea. Um, excited for you guys all to watch. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the chat on YouTube, and I will answer them. So right. this is exciting. So today, guys, what I was thinking of doing is uh, I wanted to do a monster family portrait, and each one of us is going to draw a character. Uh, mm -hmm. on this portrait that we're going to do. So I'm going to draw out the main silhouettes where everybody's part will be. And then oh. I'll draw the main character you guys could draw right alongside of it and draw whatever type of character or monster you guys want to do. So I'll put your spots there. You pick whatever you want. You can draw whatever you want on there. You can make it based off of yourself, a family member, a, a famous monster, a fun monster that you really like, uh, or the combination of a bunch of things, whatever you want to do. So um, what I'll do is I'll get started here. Um, I'll base my character here. Okay. And then whoever wants to grab this character here, we'll do another character here. And then we'll do Cassie, another. You get a close one. <laughs> one here. And if you want to do another one here, we can. We can kind of play around with it. And we just scale it down a little bit, though. Maybe that's it. We'll bring that's it down. Good. Yeah. Really? We'll select all. And we can actually have them like entwine together if you want. So you can have like, you know, do whatever you want with it. So we have a lot of different skill levels here, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> so this will be fun. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. Which one are you taking, Olivia? <clears throat> the, bot, the top, the left one, the one on the very, very left over here. Yeah. Okay. Cost is clean to as I see him. Uh, I haven't done anything yet. Oh. I'm just I'm gonna move my cursor. <clears throat> I claim this one. If that cost is not. No, it's okay. I can do it. Throws off my entire plan, but it's okay. No, I can do this one too. No, 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 my the the, the, <laughs> the whole having a concept throws off my entire plan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's called like ad living or something. All right, so everybody, everybody pick something. Yeah, Descartes. All right. Uh, I'll be the bottom person. I had to take my dog out uh, from here because I had an interview the other day and uh, a cricket came into my, my studio room and it was under my desk and my dog found it in the middle of the interview. Oh, really? Yeah. And then all of a sudden <laughs> he takes a bite out of it and I hear my dog choking underneath my desk while the interview is going on. Oh, geez. And, uh, he, it was, you know, because in here in New Jersey, we have these, I don't know if you know, Hannah, the, the black, those black crickets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Maybe. they're like scary looking. And so my dog found one and <clears throat> started eating it. <laughs> and all I hear is the dog choking under my desk. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had to play it off. Yeah. Funny. So today he's That's out of here. Wait, Olivia, which one are you doing? You took you mine. Your cursor, so I was like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, mine's just sitting. My cursor was just sitting there while I was finding references. Oh, what you, you can take the bottom right and I'll go over to the left. All right, okay, good. <laughs> oh, let okay. me erase what I was doing. So that that's okay. I can draw on top. No big deal. I tell you, I, tell you. I good. All right. I go with the flow. I just got to figure out where I am flowing though. Hmm. Oh man, Carlos, I'm already scared to draw. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll do something, but oh man. <laughs> this is not gonna be good for me. <laughs> stay on the right, stay far away. <laughs> we all know. Better. I haven't even started yet. Where are my brushes? Where are they? Mm. Brushes. Ah, there they are. Oh, too big. Oh, stop sketching out his stuff like nobody's business. Oh, look at the cost to go to. <laughs> I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm here, though. Well, so <clears throat> did you show up? I showed up. 
chilling up to embarrass yourself, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I work on this. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Us. If you can embarrass yourself, just be about it. No, nope, I'm not. You gotta, you gotta own it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna rock this. You wanna fail spectacularly. <laughs> I'm gonna fail gracefully and with power. I like the the new the video that's on. I don't know if it's TikTok or Instagram, but the woman doing a cartwheel. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it, but it's horrible. It's oh like, really? Her, her body just says no. That's not how we did it back then, and it's just. <laughs> face plants across oh, the no. her, her arms just literally say no no i don't i don't, I don't agree with this yeah i don't agree <laughs> so funny so funny yeah reliving the gymnastic dreams uh, no you're not <laughs> <laughs> yeah no so carlos how's this the the season been i mean it's it's your season right halloween's yeah, like yeah. I was just telling Olivia, it's, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, we have a lot going on and uh, the stores have been super packed and, you know, people are trying to get their last minute costumes in and, um, you know, but we're already kind of working into, you know, next season. And so, you know, we've been really busy with that. And um, Oh, really? You're already working yeah, on next season? Yeah, we're already like ahead of the game already. So it's it's kind of cool to, to, uh, to be in this stage now because now we're just focusing on other things and finalizing whatever is left over for 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 uh 23 oh. so yeah now it's just a matter of just you know brainstorming for future stuff so that's kind of where we're at at this point so do you guys like what's the big concepts like clowns obviously was your thing this year right yeah well clowns is always a big thing everybody loves clowns everybody says it's like you know that everybody does too many clowns like there's too many clowns everywhere but they, they sell so well. So, I mean, they just keep doing them. They're really popular. And so people just keep keep buying them. Uh, but clowns, clowns is something we're, all, it's, it's kind of like the evergreen now. It's become like the staple of Halloween now. It's, you know, yeah. Clown. Um, Both, yeah, clowns, clowns are, the, are the, the extension of the scarecrow, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Because it's like, you know, you know, when you have like your traditional stuff, it's uh, most people, want to go for the extra stuff, the more popular things in clowns sim sim seems to be the the go-to now for that type of horror stuff. And now also too, like horror movies are starting to be a lot more, you know, clowns and there's like that type of genre, there's a genre for that now. So it's, yeah. it's not just like slasher stuff. It's like clowns now are participating in the slashing and the horror. Oh, the slashing. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do? Like that for the Halloween stuff, what's your favorite types of characters? Um, <clears throat> you know, re recently I've been trying to get into more like, um, like probably female demon stuff, like female monsters. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I think that's been like my thing right now. Like I've been trying to explore a little bit more because I, I, I draw a lot more male characters. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, it's been more like, you know, trying to trying to get more familiar with like you know, uh, diversity in my designs and stuff. So I think more mm -hmm. female stuff right now, but if you're asking me like what I enjoy drawing at work, like I love drawing weapons. Like that's my favorite thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Weapons is like my absolute favorite. Cause it just, I have this kind of thing that like, so I used to, when I used to work in, um, in, in games, mm -hmm. um, I never got to launch a game because the studio shut down. And so I was oh, never able to, wow, to really? finish a game. So yeah. I've always had this thing in my brain where it's like I have this unfinished, you know, unfinished thing in my head, like an un unaccomplished goal. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so I think that doing weapons and stuff, it takes me to that place where I, you know, it's almost like a game fantasy game thing. I don't know what you want to call it, but it just takes me back to that time. And, I, you know, I always like to fulfill uh all my tasks are my goals and that's one that i never got to finish so I, you know yeah. <clears throat> so but now that i get to do this for a living it's kind of like it's like giant video game characters you know it's like just drawing characters <laughs> totally weapons and stuff so it's it's fun I, I like drawing a lot of different things depends on the mood too some weeks i i don't really care much for stuff and some weeks i'm like yeah i love, I love drawing this stuff and yeah it just depends yeah 
So this, how many years have you been in New Jersey now? Um, this February will be, February 3rd will be my third year. Just crazy. Oh, wow. It's a good fall right now. It's just really colorful. It's beautiful out right now. Yeah. yeah I was I've been driving my car around more often before the winter comes. Oh yeah. Um, Tell us about your car. I saw that on Facebook. Oh yeah. So I bought a 57 Cadillac Fleetwood. Um, mm -hmm. And I bought it here in New Jersey, which I never thought I'd, I'd find one down here, but I found it and uh, it was in Barnegat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I ended up buying it and yeah, it ended up being like my dream car. It's one of my favorite cars and I was able to, to purchase it from the guy and it hasn't been registered since 1966. Oh, oh my gosh. Awesome. So all the interior, all the stuff inside of it is all original. It's all, it has everything as, you know, as, as it came back in the day. And so the guy who owned it didn't get to enjoy it too long. So he put it in his garage and it sat there for years. And so it, wow. it's pretty, pretty preserved. So it's kind of cool. Um, so now I, all summer it's been in the shop because I've been trying to get the engine and the motor running and stuff. And so um, getting replacement parts and things like that. But now it's like, now that it's running, it's already heading towards winter time. And so um you know, now I'm just trying to enjoy every little bit that I can before winter comes. Yeah. But it's cool. It's really fun. I enjoy it. You said my, wife I get, my wife and I get to go cruising, so that's cool. <laughs> it's such a cool car. I was like, Lord, when I saw the picture of it, I was like, holy moly. Yeah, that's a nice one. Something out cool. of like the movies. Yes, it's really nice. Should we do a background color? I like I always like background color. Sure. I think Olivia, you got to do the. Oh, look at Olivia's. So cute. Oh, that's cute. Olivia, can you do background color? Yeah, let me. Or unless you pick. Um, we can. Oh, I don't know. Um, you want to do like a, like a. What do you mean, like a? Like a gray color, like a I don't know. Yeah. You can try that. But I do a darker gray than the gray that everyone's working on. Uh, yeah, the sketch maybe. phase might be a little difficult. Yeah. Uh, I can I think you lose you lose you lose the costas because he's really light right now. Yeah. 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 I mean I could do like orange. We can also just leave it a bit white. Mm. I don't know what you want. Tell me. Yeah, try orange. Let's see what that yeah, does. Try orange or green. <clears throat> you said green? All right. Green or orange is good. Orange. I can always darken mine up. You can try gray, whatever you like. Well, Why is cool. mine white? <laughs> white? You are whiting it out or something. I was because oh, you were doing using white early, probably. Oh. I don't love that. You want to do green? Try green. I chose the wrong layer. I might have actually chosen the wrong layer. No, the bottom one. That's mine. Okay. So green. Dark green. Dark. 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 Right, right. Like that green? Uh. It has yeah. to be lighter than that if I can't see. Yeah, a little lighter. Huh? Yeah. Fine. I don't like that mine's white. I don't love that for me. <laughs> what did I do? I think and you have white on my switch. switch. Just change sure. your just change your layer to multiply. I can't see where my cursor is. Where am I? Right. Where? I see you. Where do I change it to? Oh, oh, go into your, go into your layer palette. Yeah. And it's on the top, at the top left, it'll say what mode it's in. You just click the drop down and change it from normal to multiply. It's on multiply. Hmm. Oh, shows you how much I work in. Well, I don't know. Change it to normal and see what see what happens. Then I don't know why. I think it's all right. It's it's okay. I feel it. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It help. It's like a coloring book. Yeah. Yeah. Where am I again? I'm going to give mine a mustache. Oh, man, that's nice. I don't know where I am either. 
I'm lost. I can't see myself in. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, there I am. All of us blind people. How did you guys enjoy the uh, the trip over to uh, to Lightbox? How was it? Oh, so I was there and Olivia was there. It was it was fun being in a show like that with all like amazing art and and talent and mm -hmm. it was really Sense Lab's first real like show with our own booth. That's cool. Because we've done we we've done partnerships and stuff, but this was our first real like there I am. I'm like trying to find where I am. Um, yeah, first time we had our own little booth. So it was uh, kind of an epic moment for us finally. That's way cool. And then, uh, you know, you get to see all these people you haven't seen in so long and and see people you've admired online for, you know, and in person yeah. finally, mm -hmm. you know. So that was amazing. It was so much fun. I know it's kind of, it's relaxing for sure. I just don't like being near Carlos. <laughs> oh, I was talking about Lightbox, but yeah, I don't also oh, like oh, 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 I got sidetracked because I looked up at his mustache. I'm like, oh, I don't know where I am. <laughs> no, it was amazing fun. That's super cool. And Olivia, that was like your first big trade show with us too, right? It was my first trade show ever, ever, yeah. ever. She did, she was rocking it, demoing, meeting great people from studios. We were in a room with like all the studios. So it was really, it was really fun. That's cool. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a grand old time for sure. Huh. Mm -hmm. a purple monster. All right, now I'm gonna get to business here because because I'm flying behind. It's Gussie, you're doing some kind of brains. Yeah, that's cool looking. Where am I again? I mm, you know that uh, Blue is outside, right? Where, in the back? He's in, he's right there. Oh, he's coming to the door. Let me just let him in. Okay. The big Baluga. Yeah. My dog is named Blue. And, oh, Michelle is here. Visiting. Oh, Michelle's there with you? Yeah, she's visiting. She what came. So, so we did Lightbox Expo. Um, and then the team, half the team went over to Adobe Max. We kind of split up the teams. That's cool. It was pretty, it was pretty crazy and epic at the same time. There's a gentleman named Ian Sayers, and he went from that from um the UK and now he's had another trade show this week. He's just going from trade show to trade show. Oh, that's crazy. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of schools are calling now and we're trying to figure out what we can do. And it's just, you know, we're finally getting heard about. So it's kind of exciting. That's great. That's super good. Yeah, it's fun. I was fortunate to. Well, I think you guys are doing it right. And I, I always appreciate all the creative stuff you guys are doing for the creatives. I always say that it's like, it's amazing because, you know, again, there's, there's some that are in it for the, you know, for the art and the artists and some are in it yeah. for the, you know, for, you know, for the business part of it too, but you guys seem to have a good balance of both, you know, and that's great. Thank you. I mean, we're trying to build community, as you know, sure. that's, that's why it's important. always, you know, and then understanding workflow, you know, understanding what, what people's needs are, what makes sure. what makes your day better, right? We, we're in this for a reason. That's cool. Because we all like to draw. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. I don't like to draw anymore, it seems. I'm not next to freaking Carlos. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I kind of like blew mine up so I could see where I'm going. And that way I kind of block his. <laughs> I don't get I don't get a uh, 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 and be like oh man I gotta do more shading <laughs> yeah we're like the the minions in the brain in there and we're like and the, the magic the magic mm -hmm. like, you know just yeah. getting to know magma yeah magma is cool this thing is cool yeah 
We used this last year with this. What's yeah, some applications that you use a lot, um, Carlos? Um, I mainly use Photoshop um, and uh, yes. Sketchbook Pro. Um, Sketchbook, I haven't used it in a bit because uh, I haven't updated it yet. But um, yeah, I did a new update, I heard. Yeah, they did. Um, and yeah, I haven't installed them because they, they switched my computer. So I, I have oh. to get a new one. But my home computer has the old one. But um, I haven't I haven't gotten into it just because I've been in Photoshop for most of the most of the time. I've been working on my book. And so. Oh, yeah. Um, How's that going? Did you launch it yet? Well, it's going to launch in New York on this on December 10th. And I haven't, uh, oh, I haven't awesome. did anything about it yet, but um, but it's definitely something that I, I'm going to be doing my first convention. Um, oh, yeah, I heard about that. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. So that's exciting. And, you know, just trying to, um, you know, trying to get it done right and, and yeah. you know, do my first outing you know, well and stuff. I have a good, good amount of friends that have done conventions for years. And so they've been kind of giving me some pointers on the do's and don'ts. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited about it. And, um, the launch is gonna be good. It's basically, it's called uh, nomadic, um, the yeah. collective works. And so it's basically just my art book that I've been collecting for, uh, for about four years now. I've been kind of actually talking about it for about four years, but, um, one of the key things about the book is really about, um, it's really more about, um, not just kind of settling in where you're at and giving up on, you know, you, what you want to do with your stuff. It's like, it's really about, uh, seeing the stages of my, my growth in my art, you know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. like, there's really times in my art where I, I could have given up on it and just not continued it. And so what I did is I actually realized how bad I was in my fundamentals and my drawings, my, my draftsmanship and stuff like that. So um, I realized how bad I was. And so what I did is I put a break on all my sketching and I just mm -hmm. did a deep dive on fundamentals and um, it really helped me to understand, you know, like what my needs were in my art and my process that I didn't have. And so, um, so that's what the book is about is basically just like going back to, you know those old art pieces that I left behind and I just oh, basically yeah. resurrected them with my new skills and my new art and made yeah. them look the way that I always intended them to look but I wouldn't have been able to accomplish that without me going to the valleys of fundamentals and so it's basically right. just letting people know that it's okay to go to your fundamentals even though we hate it we all don't mm -hmm. want to do that we, we think we all know what we you know we all think we know what we know and in reality it's like when you really think about <laughs> it there's, there's a lot of people that hate going to fundamentals because they feel like it's like the baby work it's like the it's like the beginner oh, really? stuff you know? and so the beginner stuff is what really made my art become what it is and the confidence of my drawings but what are some beginner stuff it. can you explain that a little yeah so so like line art right so like when you're oh, a yeah. beginner like a lot of times people are very not they're not comfortable with their drawing ability so what they do is they call they, we call them hairy lines or sketchy lines um, so they're very sketchy and they're very, you know, like, like, look at the Casas lines. They're very straight across. They're very confident. Yes. Um, yeah. And then, and not to be mean, but if you look at don't, the octopus one on the bottom. Don't, don't pick up my <laughs> octopus. <laughs> so it's like, you know, but there's, there's a, there's a, there's a certain thing about lines that, you know, there's confidence in them and then there's uncertainty in lines. And so. Yeah, I'm uncertain um, for sure. Being able, yeah, being able to, well, the thing is being able to like, understand that and then want to you know you want to like better that and have the confidence to throw a line and know that that's for sure you know that's a line that I really want uh, um, yeah that takes time it's, it's, really, it's just really about building confidence you know what I mean and confidence comes with you know understanding your fundamentals and a lot of that is based on reality it's based on real world life life studying and um you know shadowing and how shadows you know turn on the form and they, they give you dimension and things like that. It's like, you know, a lot of times, like I said, it's like, we just like to draw and draw for fun. But in reality, yes. when, when we become professionals, we're critiqued by that. You know, our industry critiques how good we are with how we handle values, how we handle shapes and forms, composition, light, and overall draftsmanship and your drawing ability. So, mm. you know, when I was doing my, my, my drawings in my sketchbook a while ago, I would, I would be very confident and just scratchy and very loose because I, I really didn't understand how to be 
confident with just one stroke. You know what I mean? One line. I will say you knew it is an octopus though. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> Might be picking really on it, but no. you knew it was I an octopus. I knew it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the book is really about just, you know, just building confidence in yourself and your, you know, and in your yeah. art through fundamentals and you know, going back and seeing what, what you've done in, in your career, you know, what you've done in, in your, in your growth and, you know, and you can see this. So what I did is in the book, it's basically just a before and after here's my old sketch and here's what it looks like now in modern time now, you know, so um, you can see the humongous difference in, in the work and, you know, and how long it took stuff to, to, to work out. So the front cover, just to give you a little spoiler, the front cover of my book yeah. is a drawing I did way back in the day and I never finished it. Oh, because wow. I didn't I didn't have the confidence to paint him because I didn't know how. And so I tell that story in my book and I talk about why that cover was chosen, because it, it oh, really okay. just was, uh, you know, it was really about, you know, confidence. And I didn't have that. So now you fast forward 2019 and now I grab that same sketch and I move it into Photoshop now that I've gotten way better and I've built up my techniques and my fundamentals and then you get to see what the cover looks like. And then you, you know, and then in the back of the book, you'll see the stages that I had to go through to get it to where it's at. So it's really just a journey of, you know, it's called nomadic because my art, I feel has no home. Like it's, it looks like concept art for games, but it doesn't, it looks like mm. it would be concept for movies, but it's not. And mm. it's really just my passion for fantasy art. It's really what it is. So there really isn't like a home for it, but it just, I really just enjoy drawing and, and it just, you know, I just, whatever I feel like I want to draw, I draw it. And I don't really care if it belongs anywhere. I just, I'm just glad that I got to get it out there. And, and, um, and I enjoy the, the expressions. I've been staring at my face for years, studying my face expression. <laughs> so Making I'm faces able to, in the mirror. yeah, tons of times because, uh, you know, I learned that from animators. I learned that from other concept artists that study faces and stuff. And I started building um, a lot of my characters based off of, um, you know, based off of expressions. And so a lot of my characters, I was determined to make sure that their expressions were very, um, you know, very uh, in your face. Like you can tell that he has an express, he has a mood. And yeah. I wanted to do that with all my characters. And so I, I wanted to give them gestures in their mouth and gestures in their eyes and things like that. And so again, it's just building that confidence, you know? And so uh, I think that's kind of where I, where I am now. And so. Uh, I got to say that it's one of the things with younger artists or people that still have skill up. So that it's confidence is, is kind of the byproduct of competence. So if you're, yeah. if you have competent skill sets, that's what gives you confidence to be able to execute yeah. an idea, right? Yeah. That's the, that's the big thing. It's, it's people think, how do I get confidence? It's like, you can't really, you can't really build confidence until you get competence, right? Yeah. So that's the people yeah. really are, most people are, are kind of don't really recognize that or, or most of the time they're actually afraid. So I, I don't know how many times I've seen TV shows and I watch people draw, especially interior design shows and people are always trying to draw a straight line. Oh, I want, I want to do the, like a console like this. And they, they want to draw one straight line, but they draw 27 choppy lines. So I'm like, why yes. are you doing that? Yes. You're, you're, they're, they're, just can't, I know, but you, because you're like the master of long, of like straight line. It's true. Yeah, no, but that's, that's kind yeah. of like, that's really like Carl was saying, that's a fundamental, like you just, you know, what, what's the technique called? Is it ghosting? No, what's it called? Like you two, draw two dots and then you just, you practice as warm up drills. You just yes, want to get yeah. from point to point, right? Yeah. Yes. You know, so those kind of things that I like, it's, it's, it helps me when I'm trying to get stuff done. I like, I'll draw a line 40 times. But I, I like, especially when I do, because I do a lot of compound curves. So when I draw a shape, I have to build, yeah. I like to draw it one time. So when I change angles, it's all about trying to control the, the curve. So yes. I, you just got to spend a long time and it, and, it's, it, and it changes, you know, whether you're doing it digital or analog, whether you're using a brush or a pen. So you've got to kind of get experience with how those, each instrument works and be comfortable mm -hmm. with manipulating that, that, uh, that tool, yeah. controlling it. You can tell the and two. Comes, yeah, and that all comes with practice. I mean, that's one of the things I tell a lot of students is, mm -hmm. you know, you put a lot of mileage in your in your pencil and you, you put in the time and you, you know, make it a lifestyle. You know, it's really about a lifestyle. There's that's one of the things that I I, I, I talked to a couple of my friends here in Jersey that 
came from California and I always talk about that. It's like, you know, having a lifestyle, the, the lifestyle in California versus the lifestyle here is a little different when it comes to art. Um, mm-hmm. you know, of course, there's, there's Philly and New York and all that, and I, and I get all that, but I mean, it's definitely about, you know, building that, uh, you know, that lifestyle change, you know, in your art, like you want to make sure that you're putting in the time to, to really put in the fundamentals in and practice, you know, the techniques that you need to learn to get better, you know, and it's, it's the, it's the key thing that, that separates you from, from, Well, you know, that makes me feel better because I haven't practiced for nothing. And right? you can tell, <laughs> you can tell, I'm like, mm, <laughs> yes, my devil. You visit like, the city at all? New York or Philly? Um, I have gone to Philly. I do go to Philly on occasions. Um, I rarely go there for like art or anything like that. I really just go there for like when it's like family night or mm. you know, there's an event or something that's going on, like I'll go. But um, I don't, haven't gone to go and explore like the art community or anything, which I do. I actually, it's funny because I, I you know, I don't know if you, Hannah, I don't know if I told you about my artists and social club, mm-hmm. but um, so I started this thing with Noman and I started doing this thing called the Artists and Social Club. And it was basically oh, really? a club where I brought industry professionals to draw, just like kind of what we're doing right now with, with uh, industry professionals and novice yeah. students um, and mentoring kids to, um, to okay. help them draw alongside their hero artists, you know what I mean? And so um, it was a free event. I always like to make it free for everybody to, to, to come and enjoy the night and you know, yeah. my wife and I would just, we would buy pizza for everybody. And it was just, it was just in a big, big thing for all of us. And yeah. um, it got to the point where Noman heard about us and, you know, they invited us to come use their hangar in Hollywood. And so we pretty much oh, were yeah. packing oh, yeah. that place up. Cool. Yeah. We were packing it up and, and, and we were doing it once a month and it just started becoming like a huge thing. And mm-hmm. um, a lot of guys that, that taught at Noman participated, they all kind of came and spoke on my panel um, you know, I had industry artists from the toy industry come in and they, it just became a humongous thing. And I just, then I moved to New Jersey and, and then COVID hit and then that kind of went. Oh, uh, yeah. So that okay. kind of went the way. So I'm going to try to resurrect it again and try to bring that back because I really want to start helping students, um, you know, get back into, you know, the, the, the right direction. Um, oh, uh, yeah. A lot of students are lost and I'm really saddened by the, by the, uh, by the schools nowadays. Um, that really? Just, well, I mean, I mean, just because like I, I work with a lot of, uh, a lot of <clears throat> interns, right. So a lot of interns throughout my career have never gotten the proper skills or the proper training to to join a studio and properly use Photoshop or Illustrator. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are going straight into 3D because they think that's it. That's the that's the future. But they, they skip the fundamental part of it. They skip the drawing part of it. They skip the I mean, a lot of them are very weak at drawing. Um, mm. again you get a good handful of kids that are really good because that's just straight up they just love to draw yeah but for the most part a lot of the kids come out of there with like super skilled in 3d but very very badly skilled in drawing or fundamentally you know fundamental oh, the basics um, yeah. Acting skills. yeah so you know when you have a you tell some kid and say hey can you draw me some concepts for this whatever it is you know none of them can draw you a proper character because their anatomy is off they're their posing's wrong their gestures are off and they're they it's just very flat and true and not good right so i talk to them a lot about you know what what can we do to to help you and stuff so they're like yeah well my teacher doesn't teach me this or that or whatever and i'm like that's like fundamental photoshop mm-hmm. is like fundamental of our industry that's like it's like the standard tool that you any studio would, would have you have you use like anywhere from games movies uh, you name it, Photoshop is the program. And I know that there's other ones too, but Photoshop is clearly like, it's the standard. Everyone speaks that PSD format, like everybody understands it. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know how to use it, it's going to be very tough to get into a studio unless you're really, really just a strong 3D artist. And they're going to be like, oh, we'll just hire him for 3D, which is great. Right. But a lot of the inter- a lot of the interns that I've had, they, they walked in my room yeah. and they're just like, I don't, I don't know how to use Photoshop well, or I've never used a Cintiq before, or I've never, you know what I mean? Or, or a tablet yeah. or any type of digital, you know, components or tools. Yeah. Um, so I think that's the, that's the sad part about it. Because again, a lot of the students aren't like when I went to school, I remember they would look at your portfolio and they would, they would either let you in or not. And uh, yeah. now it just seems like everyone's an artist and what's that? Where did you go to school? 
I went to Art Center for for a bit. I went there for two oh, years. Oh, yeah, wow. and then I went to uh, Concept Design Academy for a little bit, and then I studied at Studio Arts for a little bit too. I took some classes at Studio Arts, but a lot of the stuff that I learned is just I just spend the yeah. time drawing. I hung I hung yeah. out with the right people, and yeah, and, uh, and that's 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 also key. You know what I mean? Hanging out with the right people it's it's important. Oh yeah, um, I'd love yeah. to see you do like graffiti painting. Oh yeah, I love that. I might I have to commission you to do like an outdoor graffiti painting for my out uh, my patio. I haven't done that in a while. Really? Um, yeah, and you know it's funny the book, the nomadic book. I have a lot of graffiti pieces in it, so oh, there's some graffiti inspired art in there. Yeah, because I just love graffiti. It's like yeah, it's fun. It's where my roots come from. Yeah, I know. I remember when we first met, you told me that story. What's that? I remember when we first met, you told me that story. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I remember, um, I remember that um, my mom used to tell me that it was going to lead me nowhere. And it wasn't until I got in trouble with the police yeah. They, 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 they caught me and I got to go to probation. I was going to go to juvenile hall and I had a probation officer. I don't tell that story very much, but um, my probation officer, um, he joined a program in my high school. And yeah. the cool thing about it was that um, he joined this mentorship program. And he, I don't know if he knew or not. I don't know if he knew or not. I know I didn't know he was in the program until we had mentor night and you got to meet your mentor for the first time. Yeah. And he showed up at my mentor night and he sat at my table and I showed up and I'm like, what are you doing here? Like, <laughs> in my head, I was like what the heck? I was really like bummed. I was like, wow, this is crazy that you're here. I don't want to be around him. You know, like that's my probation. Yeah. Officer. So then, um, so then we kind of built a little friendship out of it. It was really neat. And then uh, he told me, you know what? I can't be your mentor and your PO officer at the same time. So here's what we'll do. He said, I'll make you a deal. He said, I'll, I'll sign your, I'll sign your paperwork for the courts. If you do one thing for me. And I said, okay. And he says, I, I would like to take you to Walt Disney animated studios and show you that you can take your art out of illegal to getting paid for it. Like you can make a career out of this. Yeah. And I was just like, sure, I'll go. And I'm all I was thinking about is just getting out of the courts. <laughs> yeah. I didn't care about anything else. Cause you know, I didn't know you can make a living off of this stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he, uh, I've always tried to find him because without him, I would have probably, God knows where I would have been, but he really like took me off the, off the street per se, but he showed me another, another avenue I could have taken. And I did, and I took it and, you know, he, he signed my paperwork and changed my life. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I, I stopped doing graffiti work. I just really started focusing on my school and I graduated and went to art school and, you know, I really I didn't go to Disney or anything, but I did get to work on Disney products afterwards, which is great. <laughs> right, but, that's uh, awesome. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I, I always I even called my school and found, tried to find out who that probation officer. I totally forgot his name, and I don't have the paperwork or nothing. But I really wanted to thank him for 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 being that 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 kind to me. For being that person who believed in yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I think now, that's like, important I, for lots of kids. Yeah, it's important. Mentorships is very important, and. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, uh, I ended up, you know, just, you know, continuing the path of art and just kept doing that. And then I just fell in love with it. I never, I never looked back. I just kept doing it. And now I just, I was working on Subway Surfer right before I came to Spirit. And Subway Surfer, I got to draw graffiti on trains, which is awesome because that's what I was doing. That's got me in trouble. It's <laughs> like my probation officer said, he goes, now you're getting paid for it. So that's hilarious. Yeah. If my mom was around, I would tell her too. Oh, yeah. right. In Puerto Rico, we used to do graffiti too. We got almost got in trouble, but we never got caught. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. We were we were bad. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the it was the time too. That's what you were seeing in every yeah. in every movie. It was hip hop time. Yeah. Hip -hop. That's what the cool kids were doing, right? Yes. <laughs> Hate to say yeah. it, but it was, it was a it was definitely cool. a good time. It was a good time for sure. It's very much what was going on. I don't know what I'm doing. I barely can see. 
<laughs> I don't even know out. how I like to do layers. So I'm just making a very 1D monster thing. Yeah, me too. I'm not doing layers either. I'm I'm not doing layers either. I don't know how to. I was watching DeCosta and I was like, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> you just and add a layer at the top, the top right corner, there's a little plus right above the garbage can. Oddly placed because I don't want to delete a layer versus add a layer. But or so if I add a layer, how do I how do I like add scales to my monster? We just add a layer and then it should it should appear above whatever layer you were you're first working on. Just <clears throat> add scales. Start drawing on that layer. I've got I've got the way this works on I can't get any any pressure control so I mine yeah. is just sloppy I get I get no taper and I'm not really good at that. Uh, Degas, are you using a uh, Safari or using Chrome? Uh, I think this is Safari. Yeah, if you use Chrome, if you log out and log back in with Chrome, it'll give you that tapered. That's what I'm using. Right. Oh, you guys have secrets. Yeah, so I, I I learned that before I jumped on. I wanted to kind of get a re overview again, and it was he was yeah. Bobby Chu said if you want to get that tapered, you uh, you pressure, jump out and just control. do that, or there's a there's a uh, plugin for it or like a something you can turn on or something. But yeah, I, Chrome is working good for me. Secrets. Secret secrets. <laughs> I'm trying to make mine now more painterly so you get off my my line case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yeah, mine. I'm fine if you on my case. <laughs> like whatever. Do you have like a blur tool? Who? Is there blurring? I don't think there's a blur there's, tool. There's here. a weird lasso with some kind of thingy mark on it, but I don't think there's an actual blurring tool. Oh, there's a hand. No, a hand might not just. Move. No, the hand moves you. Yeah, I, might, I was using pencil, so now I'm gonna use. I'm waiting for the Costa to do his his lighting, so I could light my side on him, so it looks. Like I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to get the lighting going. I mean, I've got some. I'm doing up lighting, so but you're doing down lighting, so that's it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for my rim light till till you hit it because I want to catch your light. Well, it's well, I'm using yellow at the bottom, so you can roll off of that, and then. Okay. You got that, Olivia, that you're going to work on your lighting too? Yeah, uh -huh, right. for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely going to work on my lighting. Yes. I don't even know what that means, but for sure. For sure. For sure. <laughs> I barely just learned how to put scales on my monster. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a room full of artists and I don't know what I'm doing. That's great. I'm learning a lot. I wouldn't say I do this kind of drawing. Yeah, me neither. So yeah, it's not you know, feeling. That's why we have Casa and Carlos here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to show people. How Somebody's got to show what? Them. What's the what? Oh. Right. 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 I'm trying to have line confidence. <laughs> like that's right carlos gotta that's watch yourself you gotta have that confidence i'm confident that's right confidently scribbling <laughs> that's what you get <laughs> still trying to log into chrome just work yes there we go i don't know where the hell i am where my pen is I know it's hard. You got to scribble on somebody else's stuff to find. Yeah, it. like saying I'm over here. I'm like, oh god. You can scribble on mine. It's cool. I give you permission. Oh my god. I am I. Where are oh, you? Yeah, anyway? exactly. Olivia, down below. I'm the little. I'm over here. I'm trying to figure out what layer number you are. Oh, I'm a. I'm on layer eight at the present. Are you going to touch my layer? That's what I see. Yeah. What you doing? Are you putting a nose on my monster? I'm doing something. Well, it wasn't there yet. Yeah. Touching my monster? What the heck? Touching your monster. She's taking over. 
Why is she ta- why are you taking over my monster? I was just no. feel like putting eyeballs in there. I because I got bored of mine. <laughs> well, I'm about to do something that. weird. Don't like fix that. my eyeballs. I don't know. They just look like a little circle. <clears throat> hey, let me work on my eyeballs. Also, my brain was thinking of like Mickey Mouse eyeballs, not like I don't know how to do eyeballs like Michelle does. So Carlos, can you help her eyeballs? Yeah. How do I eyeball? Where are you at? Layer eight. Are you the blue one? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just thriving off of making a curly haired purple monster with scales. I wanted the monster to kind of look like me with my natural hair. Oh, look at him making. Monsters have such great hair. And where is it? I can't. Okay, there I am. There. Ooh. Oh, there I can see all of you. What tool is that that you're using, Carlos? Oh, just a brush. Just I'm not. <laughs> just, just a brush. I, that's whatever. I <laughs> so, <laughs> than, so much better than what I could have done. I'm over here, like trying to figure out how to make circles. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for fixing my eyes. Look at that. You got little eyes. You always use a tongue. What? A little tongue. Oh, um. Oh, oh let's see. Let's see if I could draw something like that. Uh, mm. <laughs> hmm. Here, I'm coming in. I'm like, what is a tongue? Here, I got your tongue. Okay, bye. Ah, cool. Oh, what's happening? Don't judge my drawing. Me. Doesn't let me go back to my old layers. Oh, that's horrible. Wait, why? Because Did you I sign logged, out of the other one? Because I, 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 no, I'm still at DaCosta, but I logged in to to the to the drawing session in Chrome as Carlos suggested, but now I can't change layers. Um. Oh. So it's, lock, it's locking me out of my old layers. Oh, wait. If you hit that unlock on it, I think you, you should be okay. Uh, no, it's locking. Mm-hmm. They're all, mm-hmm. let me just check. Oh, now it's, now it's, you have to kind of weirdly activate them or something. Huh. Does it work double now? Tap on it and double tap on it and it reactivates them. Oh, cool. Uh-oh. So what's your plans for Halloween or this weekend? Anything fun? Um, I think we're just going to do like um, all the kids got their costumes and we had ours already. So because, you know, we were going to go to your house. Yeah. And, um, and then her homecoming hit us up and then I was like, ah, and then, so we have our costumes that like, we're just going to just sit around and just give out the candies like we did last year. So nothing, nothing major, nothing crazy. Right. We also put our animatronics out and all our house gets all decorated. Oh so. man, we got to see pictures of that. It's not that crazy. No, I mean, no. It's because the word you use like, all of our animatronics, but it's not that crazy. I'm not sure that's a really crazy right, right. <laughs> not a thing. Because well, because you know my my animatronics are just running the mill. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, T. Right, I don't understand. That, I don't have funny. any animatronics, bro. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that is not a thing. <laughs> that's not a statement you can say, right? It's not. <laughs> it's like uh, that's really funny. You know what it is? It's just that I'm probably too lazy to put everything up because then it's like I don't leave them out at night, so I just kind of bring uh, them all back in. But it's like just the fact that I have to set that whole thing up. Oh, well, that would be annoying. And then I have to take it. That would be out. Night. I would be out of that too. I'm like I'm yeah. out. I'm doing I mean, one it's night. Fun, it's fun when you set it up and you get scare people. Um, yeah. yeah. So I think well, well, this year I got this mask from work. Um, they loan they they loaned it to me because we're still kind of like looking into it. But I got this mask, super freaky, super super freaky. And um, so I'm gonna act like an animatronic outside of my house 
<laughs> oh, that'd be cool. So I'm gonna put them there, so it's gonna look like I'm just like animatronic, and I'm gonna just scare the living Jesus out of everybody. That's awesome. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, nothing special. <laughs> Make sure you don't get punched. Just scare people. So glad in, in your in your town is it, it? Oh, all of you guys, can you guys answer that? Like, are, are, is you guys' town like very uh, active with kids or, or trick or treaters, or are you guys pretty? Not my pretty house. No. Yeah, that? well, Lambertville here is crazy. It's like one big Halloween town, so That's it's cool. you know, it's. We'll, I'll post pictures because we're gonna go out for dinner tonight after this. Mm -hmm. um, I got a friend from high school here. And Michelle's here, so we're all gonna go have dinner. My neighborhood is covered with kids, but I don't. I I turn my lights out because I'm boring. <gasps> you do not. <laughs> what? You don't at least put like a bag of candy out there? No. Olivia, what? You can't do that. Well, this year is because I'm I'm packing, so like everything is just kind of thrown around haphazardly in my house so i was just like oh, i'll just you know you're like I'll the halloween grinch i am the halloween grinch. grinch the grinch how could i i don't know what else to add to my little monster he seems to non-develop balloon you need a red I'm balloon a red all balloon. right give him a tail yeah, I, I got a balloon let's see i can do this red I can, balloon i believe i believe, I believe, I believe. Yeah. Yep. red balloon I gotta make the string. The string needs to accessorize. My devil is about to like kiss his his devil. <laughs> My female devil <clears throat> kisses head on. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should put her red, red lips. I'm doing more line work, fundamental line work. <laughs> I grew up with this. <laughs> I'm going to work on my fundamentals too. I'm going to read your book now. I can't wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll share when I when I get it. It's it's. I'm hoping to send it out uh, for print uh, this weekend, so I might be busy with that. Oh, nice. Because I got to get it prepared for uh, for the convention on the 10th of December. So I want to get all the stickers and poster prints and stuff like that ready. Because what I want to do is I want to do the first 100 people to buy it. Oh, I'm sorry, not the hundred. The first 50 to buy it um, get a limited edition printed poster with my sign well, signature and little drawing on it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How are you selling it on, on like Amazon or what are you doing? Um, I got, um, well, right now I'm going to do through um, like close friends and family and people, you know, people that I know first, just to kind of get that out of the way. But I'm gonna get um, my website up, so I'm gonna start. Remember, I was telling you about the website, the, the four-tier oh, yeah, website. Yeah. So I'm gonna Count have it. I want. Website. I want to buy one. I want cool. to buy one. Thank you. I'm yeah, in. Yeah, so it's um. So I'm gonna be sending it on the website uh, right after the convention. So it'll be on. It'll be up. I'll, I'll promote it and do a whole ordeal. Cool. Um, I'm excited for it. So I put a lot of love into that book. It's like a lot of. Um, I put a lot of love into it. Like. Weekends and weekends and weekends of, of work on that. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, a lot of weekends, lots and lots of weekends. I don't know, I got kids in sports and I don't have time for weekends. At like, like four games this weekend. Wow. So many. A lot of games. Well, five actually. I forgot my son's football game. Football. Your kids so have can't... a lot of energy. What? Your kids have a lot of energy. Yeah, my daughter is a big sporty girl. I lied my brush eyes. Oh, that's why. My brush eyes wasn't getting bigger. I can't see. I really can't see. That's my problem. 
Yeah, well, we all. Mm. Costa. in here? <clears throat> there he is. No, where's the Costa? No. We lost, we lost a Costa. Uh oh. Well, I pause my. Uh... He probably is trying to get back in, maybe. Olivia, check if he's trying to get back in. I am. Like sorry, I'm here. Oh, there he is. Mad, sorry, door, mad door delivery. Sorry, mad door delivery. My bad. No worries. Got one of those like settled Greek eyes. <laughs> Word off evil. Also, what have you been up to, man? I haven't talked to you in a long time. I know. No, uh, well, sense loves where I've been at, but yeah. uh, basically, like when I'm off, when I'm off the clock, I'm just trying to figure out how to rebuild my account for Instagram and and make uh, stuff. Dude. You haven't got it back yet? No, it's not going to come back. No way. It's Instagram, Meta, whoever's is you know they're just not even trying to listen to my emails. You know, I just gave up. You know, there was a. Um... There was a, I got hacked not too long ago and uh, the, whoever the hacker was um, sold my, my account. I had like 17 K followers on mine oh and I built God. up my, I built it up really. I mean, it was a long time of just constant, you know, you know, you build up your account, you know what I mean? He's put a lot of into it. So, and uh, he literally like, spammed everybody i lost a ton of followers ton i mean tons wow. of them ended up with 14 so that means i lost about three thousand super something he damaged me hard and then um and then emotional he, damage he sold he sold <laughs> my my account to a, to this girl from god knows what country so all my followers now are her followers Right. So then she starts posting all these like bikini posts, like like she's in this launch, like not lingerie, but like a bikini, right? She's at the beach and she's showing off these new shoes. And so then I start getting a ton of emails from friends of mine. They're like, hey, dude, uh, there's somebody who, who has your account <clears throat> and she's posting all kinds of stuff. So then she started getting a ton of like hate, like, you know, like posts and, and, and comments that it's not her account and this and that. So then I DM'd her through my artisan social club account. And I said to her, Hey, that's my account you have. She goes, No, it's not. It's my account. I said, No, it's legit my account. Like the everybody on here are people that I followed, and you unfollowed everybody that I followed. Yeah. And so I, me and her had a back and forth. We were going back and forth on it. And I call, I can't I try to contact, like you're saying, Dacosta, like I was trying to contact Instagram. And you figured, you know, like they would be helpful. You figured, you know, this happens all the time. Nope, no reply. No nothing. And uh, it was, it, I was just bummed out. Cause I mean, that was just like unheard of. So then I told the girl, I said, listen, you're going to keep getting bad comments on your post because they're my, they're my followers. They're, they're people who followed my content. So mm -hmm. why do you think that paying for an account that has nothing to do with bikinis, you think that it's going to be, it's going to go good. Like it's, that's what you really, that's what you're paying for. And I, I was just telling her kindly to like, Hey, just give it back. And she's yeah. like, well, I spent $200 on this account. And I was like, but that's your bad. That's you, you shouldn't be paying for th these stolen accounts. And then she's all like, I'll tell you what she said. She said, I'll, I'll split it with you. Give me a hundred bucks and I'll eat the hundred bucks. And I was like, no, it's your mistake. I'm not paying for your mistake. This is my account. So I said, look, I hope that you do the right thing because this is not right. And you know, it's not right. And I'm telling you, this is my account. So uh, afterwards, like maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple hours later, she sends me another message and says, hey, what's your what's your email address? I'll give you back your account. I said, what's the catch? Because I ain't paying for, I ain't paying for my own account. And she's like, no, I'll just give it back to you. And I was like, are you serious? She's like, yeah. So she, she I gave her my, um, I gave her my uh, email address and she, she literally, she gave it back to me. She gave me my oh, that's nice. yeah, she gave me access again. And I changed all my information and I got my account back, but she had already done the damage. My algorithm was jacked, you know, 
where I used to get like, you know, 700 views or a thousand views or likes or something on a post. It now is like a hundred or 50 or, you know what I mean? It just totally ruined my algorithm. So I just, I just said, screw Instagram. I just, I just post it for the hell of it. Now I just post whenever I feel like I don't really not, it's not like before it sucks. Yeah, that does suck. No, it's totally, it's totally difficult. And then, you know, on top of that, I mean, for the most part, when I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, like, you know, once the, see, the thing is the two factor authentication works differently than the documentation. <clears throat> So Olivia was trying to help me like as soon as it happened and it just was yeah. not giving the right responses and all the response numbers. And I think the guy, cause I had almost 30,000. So the yeah. dude was, he changed up my details right away. Yeah. That's and locked, the dude. And locked me out. And I, I wasn't able to, I was never able to successfully get the two factor working properly. Cause you know, it tells you to send a message and blah, blah, blah. It sure. never worked. Sure. So the, the, the code number that it tells you to text is different for my section or Canada or whatever it is. So I can sure. never get that message to do the, uh, the two factor. That sucks. So no, I totally, and then I, I didn't figure that obviously for until weeks and weeks of trying, you know, and then I figured out how to lock down all my other stuff. But the <coughs> good thing about it is if you, you get hacked in Instagram, they can't go like to my Facebook and everything else that you can only get yeah. kind of the one way. So yeah. that's fortunate. And the weird thing is I had changed my screen name to DaCosta underscore Bailey because I wanted to, I was still always humming Han about getting out of cho just chocolate soup, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, so when you leave it, you kind of like, you know, I, chocolate soup was just free and open. So when yeah. that happened, I was able to at least redo my account, like, a, like a, a, another account. Yeah. Uh, change the name to back to chocolate soup. It was kind of my, nobody ever really notices you changed, but. Yeah, yeah. But at least like it still matches up with all of my social handles everywhere else, right? So cool. that's that's the upside to that sad story. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, when they hit me up, they're like, Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I thought it was you. And I was like, dude, long time. And I was like, Oh, and then he's like, Hey, check this out. And he sent me something. I was like, Oh no. That's when I reached out to you on Facebook. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. No, no, it's not you, dude. <laughs> yeah, it sucks completely. But at the end of the day, it's kind of it is what it is. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to build stuff back up when you're trying to like from an independent standpoint to get yeah, for sure. just general kind of attention, especially the way the algorithm works now. It's horrible. Yes. Yeah, anyway, you got to tell me twice. I know. Live and learn. <laughs> Live and learn. Live and learn. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. I made a pumpkin balloon. <laughs> That's cool. Here am I, am I devil? Because I'm getting to the point that I don't know what else to do. Well, we are almost done. It has been an hour. Wow. Wow. Uh -huh. Hour fast. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Huh? Did it though. Huh? Did it though. It, 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 <laughs> it went faster awesome. than doing my, my, uh, so spreadsheets yeah don't really tell like who's the artist and then who uh is the um, childhood color you know what i love about this is that we all fill the page yeah yeah i like it wait does the eraser work over here oh the eraser works in chrome nice ah, yeah yeah so everybody use chrome from now on let's do another session well i forgot that I, I, she doesn't have ears. Uh, then she can't hear you. No. What? My woman has no ears. Oh. That's a woman. It is. Okay, you know what I think, and it's it's a it's just a thing. You know what? It, actually, I was inspired by you know the book uh, where the wild things are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about when I drew this. Ah, pretty cool. There, she's got ear now. Looks so cool. Oh, I like the white eye outline you do on there. Who? DaCosta? No, uh, Carlos. Carlos. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, that's cool. I'm in opacity. I don't think we're, I think we're still playing. 
<clears throat> All right. I'm good. You good? Yep. Cool. This has been really fun. Yeah, this was a fun one. Look at that. I'll definitely save this once everyone finishes up their last bits of detail. Um, thank you so much again, Carlos, for joining our, our Halloween Draw Jam again. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the invite. Again, it's always a pleasure drawing with you guys. I can't wait to, to do it again next year. Yeah, it was a it was a pleasure. We're so we're honored that you did this with us. Right and, um, I really appreciate it. Excited about your book and yes. I can't wait. Let me know as soon as it's available to buy. We'll do. Thank you so I'm much. For the first with the signed copy. I appreciate it.